Okay, bros and broettes, just got back from the gym with footage that you are going to see in a second. However, I thought that I'd just give you a bit of an update as I've been a little bit out of action recently with a weird injury. Um, people have sort of diagnosed it as like an exertion-based headache. Um, so basically, I was leg pressing and something like I had a huge rush of pain, like I'm talking serious rush of pain to this left temple here, uh, right temple, sorry. Um, so serious rush of pain and I thought, okay, being a bro, I have to carry on. I have to push through the pain uh, for an entire week. And every single workout I went back, every time I went for any sort of exertion, any sort of like big, pushing movement I went bang again and again and again um, and by the end of the week it was extremely painful like I'm talking all the time it was just irritating me throughout the day uh, I couldn't concentrate on any of my work couldn't do any of my online client stuff it was a nightmare so um, in instead of obviously carrying on I went to A&E got checked out got given painkillers got told to take time off and then from sort of then on I've just been taking time off trying to recuperate it and then slowly bring him back in the training. Uh, so it's been incredibly irritating, but feeling much, much better now, actually able to train properly, uh, which is a win. Um, so yeah, hopefully moving forward, we're going to be getting more training footage, more sessions uh, and more PRs. So um, hoping you will enjoy this uh, push session. I will probably voice it over, uh, talk a bit about the training session, talk about my, my training at the moment talk about my macros, all the good stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get back into YouTube. So see you in a bit. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the voiceover. As promised in the previous clip, I'm going to be talking through this push workout. And today was a good workout. So like I said, sort of first, like maybe second proper workout back. So I'm still, if I'm honest with you guys, I'm still sometimes a bit anxious when I walk in the gym. You know, when you've got like a really heavy leg session and you feel good and you feel like you're going to hit a PR and you feel a bit anxious like I've sort of got that every single session at the moment because I'm almost like on the edge that I don't know whether my head's going to be fully better I don't know like it's all a bit confusing at the moment but at least this session went well so last time I benched I was back and healthy. I got 90 kilos for four sets of six. And that was good. I was pretty pleased with that because that's pretty much what I hit before. Uh, so I've always really been trying to bring up my bench because if you know me, you follow me on Instagram, etc., you'll know that I've got a bit of a poverty bench. Hashtag poverty bench. So I whacked on, as you can see, two biscuits, 100 kilos. And the question is, how many did I get it for? And if you follow me on Instagram, again, you probably know what I got it for. But here's a clip anyway for you to see what I actually did get it for. So I'm going to let this play roar for you and I'll be back. Whoa, a wobbly four. That's what I'm talking about. Get in there. Um, seriously, that I felt all right. Really wobbly, like I just said. So I was a bit all over the place with that. It, it just felt like 100 kilos, basically. Unwrapped it, and I was like, God damn it. This this feels heavy as hell. So, um, yeah, I unwrapped it. And I immediately knew that it was just going to be a tough set. So, But I got it done, and I'm happy with that. And only, like for the weeks to come, I'm really, really sort of aiming to really chase uh, sort of progression in that movement in terms of just really bringing it up to standard um, because I'm a bit concerned that bench is something that I really haven't focused on for, for a good amount of time, especially the barbell bench. Anyway, OHP going well as per usual. So this was 57.5 kilos for sets of 10, three sets of 10. So I have hit 60 kilos before for three sets of 10. But I decided when I came back, I wanted to really rework my OHP because it was something that I was feeling like it wasn't just, it wasn't progressing well. And that's something you can do in your own training. So if you feel like you have a movement that is just not progressing as well as you want it to, you can just basically 
take it back to basics. So either rejig something, change your foot stance, change how you perform the movement so that therefore you can progress, but you're progressing from the way you are executing the exercise rather than just adding load. So if form breaks down as you try and chase progression, then it's maybe worth taking a few steps back in order to take a few more positive steps forward, if that makes sense. So as you saw just then, I was doing incline dumbbell press with 32 and a half kilos for sets of nine. Again, a movement that I've sort of taken back to basics, making sure that I'm getting full range of motion. That's something that I see a lot of people doing is very short ROMs on the incline dumbbell press. And to be honest, if you want to activate your upper chest, you're going to have to use a full range of motion. Now here is one of my favorite movements for the medial delt, and it is a lateral raise, seated lateral raise, and I really enjoy them. Get a good contraction, get a good feel, and I find that when I stand, I tend to jerk, I swing, and I look like Ronnie Coleman after he's had a couple too many coffees and his barbecue sauce. So I find that sitting down controls me, keeps me in a cage, and allows me to grow my medial delts. So as you're seeing here, finishing off my chest and shoulder work with some back-to-back -back chest, well, pec deck, the pec deck for peace, and then the rear delt fly of peace. And uh, both of these movements I'm not a huge fan of, but I do feel them, like I do feel them well. I think I actually sometimes feel a better contraction on my rear delts with face pulls. However, this was just something that I wanted to do today. And it's something that's in my program with a 10 to 15 rep range, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Here, finishing off my push day with triceps. And I, for triceps at the moment, I'm doing tricep push downs and an overhead cable attachment for the long head of the tricep. So quite a lot of the time, people will just attack the short head and wonder why their triceps aren't growing. That's because you haven't done any long head, long head work. And here I am doing long head work with the cable. So constant tension on the tricep, feeling it. And I recommend just going really, really light with these. It's very difficult to perform this movement with a light weight, let alone whacking on any more than sort of 10, 12 and a half kilos. Uh, you can also do these with kettlebells, but this is how I chose to do it today. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the voiceover. It's going to end soon, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Love you. Bye. Now, see, the question is, has anyone done an oat voiceover before? Well, looks like I'm the first. So this is what I usually have after I train. I get home, I weigh out 180 grams of oats, which yes, is a lot, and it tastes good. And I cook it, and then I have a mug cake alongside. So if any of you have not made a mug cake, you need to, because it's so good, unless you buy the birthday cake protein from my protein because it tastes horrible. I'm sorry my protein, I usually love your stuff, but this protein is disgusting. So yeah, I use like 40 grams, I think, and put a teaspoon of baking powder with it, whack it in the microwave, and you get what resembles a very dry, but cakey mixture. Just about halfway through my oats, I realized I didn't even film it, but I've got granola on it, almond butter, and a mug cake, which looks like it's been lost in the ancient ages and left in a freezer because it it looks horrible um in other news one of my friends is stuck on the top of uh, underground roof car park uh, the gym that i go to um and uh, no one's answering any calls so he's actually been stuck there for about an hour uh, so not not too good news for him but uh good news for me because i've got oats and i'm gonna eat them so yeah cool